You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Let me out of here, you maggots! <laughs> you think these bars can hold me? You hear me? My boys are coming for me! And when they do, we'll burn this hick town to the ground! Get this O'Driscoll out of here, or there's gonna be another murder! You inbred bastards ain't got a brain between you! Let me out! <coughs> Arthur? Arthur! Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <sighs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come on. Get out here. Skinny. It ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Go. Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. Think we finally lost them. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, mm. you and me, <clears throat> sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> they should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Come on! 
Run! <laughs> Run! Come on, Arthur! Get out of there! You dumb bastards! You should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. They are the peacemakers. For they shall be. Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. I'll get the words out properly, fat man. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I... As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. They knew we were coming, just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. Well, what now? The roads. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest. What is it? You're a... You're a lie. <laughs> oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. These drowned rats are my good men. Well, goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. To get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Really, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> Come on, run! What now? What do you mean, what now? We don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. Anyone disagree? <laughs> <There he laughs> <is>. Okay. <laughs> Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. <sighs> what, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. <laughs> Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, 
Them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> I found something interesting. Come on, you gotta move. This is your last mistake. At least we tried talking it out. Boys, have lost your law. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later, Cornwall had to go. <sighs> ah, there he is, old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was he followed? Excuse me. Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <coughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, weigh your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage? All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me, you two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. You take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> Are you crazy? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into him. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me? You help this fella? Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? Do that. We gotta let her go. John's a... Uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Yeah. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <clears throat> Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch, think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. 
Oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down. He's sick. He's dying. He's talking crazy. Uh. Come on. Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. <laughs> we won. Come on! <laughs> You're not better than me, Morgan. What do you say, you fool? Damn you. Damn us both! Hello, Scarface. Did you miss me? Not much. Been a few years. <laughs> How's that, uh, mm, whore of yours? She's good. <laughs> Didn't reckon I should waste my time killing you. <sighs> but I felt different. So it seems. Well, maybe after all this is over, I'll go pay her a call. Hmm? And the boy. Whatever you say. Come on now, Micah! At least die like a man! <laughs> Hell fire! It's just like old times! <laughs> Come on! You... Turn around and start walking. You got me. Just like old times. Hmm? All manner of folk paying social calls. <laughs> Now, John. Now, what were you saying? You shot me. You shot me pretty good. Thank you.